me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just yesterday, somebody on Facebook wanted to know how they could, well, they wanted to know where they could find Greek patterns. And I did a series of videos yesterday on a circle one. So I thought I'd make one today that would you could have as a border. So we're going to move this in a little bit closer. This is relatively pretty easy. What are you going to do? You're going to take a, and this is just my measurement suggestions. I took a nine by nine box, put it in the center of the page. Then I just took a line that's longer than my nine box, my nine inch box, and I'm going to have it snap to the edge of that box. I'm going to set my nudge factor on one inch. And I'm going to grab my line and you'll see why the line is longer than it needs to be. I'm going to control D. Control D and make, I'm going to go past it quite a bit. I'm going to take that last line and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Then I'm going to put it snap to the edge of my box. I'm going to make a duplicate and sometimes it does that. It turns it sideways. Control D, move it down. Okay, now you've got a quadrant of boxes. And it kind of helps if you bring in a clip art of one because uh, it's kind of like walking through a maze blindfolded. So let's get this thing. I haven't grouped this together. I need to probably group it together. Control G. And I'm going to bring it up to that about that top line. So we can start right here. Um, it's kind of hard to tell where my box is. I guess I should have made my box black. Let's make my box black. Black line. And we'll snap this line back to it. And then just take your Smart Fill tool and right here just fill it in. And I'm doing this extra big because uh, of the fact that for the video, but you could always make it whatever size you want. Then just come down. You know what I did? I, I went past our I went past our box. It's hard to see the, and then you just kind of got to go where you know it is. And I would have probably made a duplicate of this first, just to make sure you don't mess it up. But it's relatively pretty easy, and if you made it. If you would have made a duplicate. Now I'm going to go past the line one time and I actually need one more line. So let's take this line and move it over one inch and we're going to put one more smart fill tool right there. So now let's move our old one out of the way. And I must have made a duplicate of it. And there's a couple ways you can do it. One, I would just uh, grab and grab all your black. Now you're going to get some more things with it. Like you got, you, I got our box. So just click on your box and delete it. I'm going to save those lines. Well, I don't need them. Let's delete those lines. So now let's group this together. Control D or control back up here. Control G to group it together. Let's put it in the center of the page just for grim. Now our box is 11 by 9. So we've added uh, 2 inches. So I'm going to change my nudge factor to 11. And I'm going to make a duplicate. Control D. Move it over. And there you go. It's that simple. I might have, maybe shouldn't have had two. Let's back up here. Let's see what happens. Let's ungroup that. Like I said, I had never done this before. Let's take away that one block. Now, group it together, control G. But now we're only 10 inches. So let's, let's move our nudge factor to 10. Let's control. Control D. There we go. That looks better. And you can keep going to your heart's content.
And like I said, I made it really big, but because they're not really lines, you could make it really small and it would still be the right thing. And I might try to figure out how to go around the corner. So maybe stay tuned for the second video. Help that help, hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.